Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So this weekend, as you can probably hear, it's still absolutely tipping it down over here in the UK and everywhere, wherever you go is quad mire, flooded, muddy, boggy. So I'm pretty much shed bound again at the moment. Um, I do want to get back up into our woods, obviously. Sooner the better, I'm getting uh, cabin fever, to be honest. <laughs> but um, it's just not worth me going up at the moment. Um, destroying the track into our woodland because it's a shared ownership type of thing and it's just going to be destroyed with me keep going up and down there in my 4x4 so the sensible thing to do is just wait until the water subsides a bit <clears throat> and you know make myself less of a job going forward I guess so um, I'm sure the woodland will be there long after I'm dead and gone <laughs> so for now um, I'm still stuck inside the, the dreaded mad dog shed um, so as it is what it is, um, I thought I'd quickly show another one of my little collections with you guys and lasses. It's um, it's sort of bushcraft um, related. Um, I guess as you all know, I do like my knives and my axes and machetes and things like that. You know, like most of us guys and lasses that like the outdoors type of thing. But um, <clears throat> I'm just going to pan you down to the bench here a little ways and share with you one of my other <laughs> fetishes if you like or you know bits of kit that have accrued over several years a long long time really and um, I'll share that with you right now so stay tuned okay so what I've got going on here on the bench little clip lock, lock uh, box um, this is just one of many, <laughs> so just take some of this gunk out for now. Um, basically what I've got here is a broad based across the spectrum of my collection of compasses. <laughs> you know as you do, you acquire these things over the years. And um, I just wanted to say also that, you know, as well as this, these few here, I have um, pretty much a compass in every jacket, every bergen and rucksack that I own which is um, a few. <laughs> I do have a few kicking about out here in the shed. I have my old silver military uh, MOD issue one there. Um, I keep that one there as a go-to comparator. I'll explain why another time. Um, I have my nav beads, which also has a compass in there from Polymath Products. Um, I've got general sort of everyday items kicking about all over the place so this isn't my collection in its entirety so I'll just jump straight in I'm not going to bang on all night about this because it'll bore you all to death but I just thought I'd share some of the little different items with you so um, I'll just start with this and this is a basic engineer's compass it's an old 1950s um, site use engineers compass it's a sighting compass very cheap, very simple, little thumb um, clip there and obviously a window, sighting window with a brass wire to sight your building, your object or whatever you may be doing. But um, these things can be picked up really, really cheap. Uh, ideal for learners, you know, it'll teach you the basic principles of how to use a compass, take a bearing and, um, you know, shoot, shoot a bearing and stay on, on course basically. A little swivel bevel ring it's non-fluid filled little pin a floating dial compass absolutely brilliant um, like I say these are 1950s era and it's still pretty much true and accurate even today um, so for a beginner or a piece of equipment you can just chuck in any old pocket you're not going to worry about it they're literally you know a quid two quid off eBay Amazon um, if you lose it, you know, break it, whatever. But it's a nice little, you know, take it out of your pocket. You know, just, just double check your bearings. Yeah, I'm still in the right direction. Crack on. No big odd chip if you lose or break one of them. So that's that's worth considering. Dead cheap and cheerful. And they do actually give a good bearing. Um, another little point of interest here is this old wristwatch. It's like a brass wristwatch with its original canvas strap I think I've shown this before on a, another video a long time ago um, and it's got a little push button here to flip the lid open this is an old military wristwatch compass and um, this is like dated 1942 
so obviously Second World War sort of era. Somebody's obviously matte blacked it out at some point to stop the glare. Obviously, I guess a little bit more stealth. <laughs> so it would have been nice to know the history behind this. But, um, yeah, nice little, and it still gives true direction as well. Similar design to the uh, engineer's compass. Fluidless, obviously. But nice little interesting keepsake item. Then obviously I go on to stuff like obviously my more modern compasses like this bad boy here, which is a more expensive one. It's my silver uh, Ranger S, which is a mirrored sighting compass. Brilliant bit of kit, lovely, lovely action. Nice. I've only taken that out once or twice. Um, that's like my baby. <laughs> uh, you will be seeing more of that in the future. Uh, I've got the cheaper version. This is a nature hike sighting compass only a cheap ass thing um, does the job the only downside for this for me is the bevel the rotating bevel ring is quite tacky quite flimsy and not doesn't feel very nice to be honest but uh, the actual compass gives good true readings uh, comes with a little tool to adjust the bevel ring for your you know your declination your offset of declination depending where you are in the world and a small little LED torch button torch thing there as well again only a cheap that's like a cheap rip off of the silver or the uh, you know the sun toe type of thing uh, what else we've got in here another wristwatch more modern compass um, what we got here that's an old silver I like this one because it's got a massive magnifying glass which is great for solar ignition, obviously fire lighting and great for reading detail on a map even though this one is old now and uh, a lot of the markings have quite faded it's the Type 45, 45 I believe, it's only a basic compass but what else have we got in here? another UST sighting mirror again that's a bit better of a quality sighting mirror, I do like that one nice and compact I could go on forever but I won't uh, silver pocket compass, compass I do think for a working class man unless you're going on a proper expedition as it were um, silver are hard to beat for price point and quality good quality you got to go for a silver I've got some small traditional brass compasses in here uh, I've got this silver carabiner compass just at a glance um, range finder rough directional type of thing quite a nice little thing um, I think I've got some sun toes in here somewhere more expensive ones I've got all sorts of bloody <laughs> lanyard based compasses um, standard bezel plate flat plate type of compasses ranging right down to the the older stuff you know this is a sun toe but they do make good compasses, some toe do, so don't dis ever discount them, old or new, cracking bits of kit. Uh, what we got in here? We have another, is that a silver? I think that's a silver. Yeah, it's a silver um, camping. This is more of a, an old, an old school one with the aluminium bezel ring there. That's quite a nicely made thing. Again with magnifying glass, I do like that. Little hard case there to put it in. Now some of you guys and lasses will probably be thinking, well, if you store all these compass together, it's gonna, you know, demagnetize them all and all that crazy stuff. Well, not really. I've stored them together for years and years and I've never had one go reverse polarity on me or give me any crazy readings. The only time that's ever happened is, is when I've stored one in a vehicle for a long time, which was in a glove compartment next to a speaker. <laughs> and obviously the speaker had a bloody great magnet in it, which, you know, reversed the polarity. So in the future, I'm going to show you a little trick that I use. I've actually drawn on my house, on one of my house bricks on the outside, um, some bearings to include a declination that was correct at the time. And I can always put a compass flat against that and know just by using my house <laughs> as, a color, as a form of calibrating that my compass is reading true or somewhere thereabouts. Um, that's why I always keep several compasses separate as well so I can double check before setting off. Yeah, this is a more modern Sunto. 
nice and clear very clear the sun toes and again beautiful smooth action very accurate and very quick to move to your you know your your cardinal reading so yeah it's nice nice stable platform the sun toes highly recommend them but you know you get what you pay for they are more expensive but if your life depends on it then you know don't skimp and scrape when it comes to compass another thing that i would recommend is one of these little thumb thumb hold type like for orienteering you know where you just stick it on the back of your hand and off you go so it's like a, a, a grab and go base plate compass you can strap that on good and tight if you want um, so red you know red to the shed sort of thing so it's whilst you're on the move quick point to point orienteering you can set your bearing you know keep red in the shed and um, blaze a trail to your destination they're quite good they are um, I'm not sure if that's a silver I don't think it is but again not expensive but for basic orienteering gets the job done why not I've got all sorts of stuff another silver pocket um, range finder there I've got a couple of those cracking me <laughs> it's like they've been breeding in here um, old-fashioned style button compasses but like I say I'm not going to show everything in here because it's just I could go on all day but um, I won't worry about storing them together all I would suggest is that you uh, take your compass out periodically and check it against a known direction if you use your um, modern technology websites you can get your current um, um, declination offset online um, and put that into your compass and then double check against the standard um, it's, it's not hard to do so it's no big deal storing them like this um, I've done it for years and never had any issues um, this little plastic card just a Roma for a map um, talking of maps I've got a bit of a map case here uh, Highlander map case highly highly recommend anybody that's going out hiking get yourself a map case obviously current page at the front keep your map waterproof um, I've just added a whistle uh, and a small you know, a small LED torch onto this obviously always have a whistle with you in case you do get in the uh, in the mire <laughs> pencil there as well if you need to make any notes definitely worth carrying a, uh, a map cover like I say, I've got stuff like this all over the place. Uh, I ain't going to bang on forever. But these are just some across the spectrum sort of um, array of some of my compasses. Another sighting <laughs> handheld compass there. I've got various military style ones, you know, like the old military field compass there. Um, I've got both US ones, UK ones. I believe I've got a Russian one somewhere. Uh, and I think somewhere, it may be in the loft with some other stuff upstairs I do believe I've got one from the Chinese army or something like that, I can't remember now and obviously another field sighting compass, thumb compass with the magnifier basic stuff but yeah, I thought I'd share that one with you all quickly um, <clears throat> before I close, just moving on, you may have seen this orange <coughs> pouch so I'll cover that in another video, but that is basically uh, the first introduction to the Mad Dog Mystery Giveaway number five. So stay tuned for that, that'll be coming up very soon. And um, I'll be glad when this weather clears up, I want to get out and get some dirt timing. I'm itching to get up in them woods. And uh, I've got loads of kit, you know, to review as well. I've got uh, lots of knives, some machetes, um, some cover elements, as well as normal videos. It's coming, you know, spring is around the corner. I want to go tap some birch trees and um, all that good stuff I've got loads of stuff planned but I want to do it in the right location doing it properly up in the woods and uh, at the moment with all this wet weather pff, I've just got to dig my heels in and be patient like everybody I guess so anyway that'll do us for now I just thought I'd quickly share another one of my little collections with you all let me know what you guys are into you know it's always interesting to hear what you you guys and lasses collect or you have a bit of a or a bit of a thing for you know i do like my compasses i don't know why <laughs> i guess it's the home thing isn't it really it's um if you've got a compass and have a rough idea what you're doing with them then 
you know it's it, it leads you to the path home so anyways take care out there and i'll see you all soon have a great weekend what's left of it until next time mad dog signing off yeah